Okay. All right. What you'll start noticing, guys, is when you inject it, the muscles uh, start looking like they're popping out and whatever. And that's the injection buffing up the turkey. Buffing up the turkey. Do you have to bleep that out for TV, or is that okay to say? You can say on buffing. Prime time. Okay. Buffing up. O M G. All up in that. Turkey. Here's another thing too. When I'm frying a turkey, I like to uh, tuck my wings because you know they'll get out of control. Mm. It's all part of the trusting process. Oh, let me ask you this. You're seasoning the turkey now. When you mm -hmm. drop that turkey into the fryer, is that seasoning going to stick to it? Yes, it will. Because once that grease hits it, it is going to fuse to the turkey mm. and flavor that skin. Mm -hmm. And so when it comes out, are you seasoning it again? Don't need to, nope. It is seasoned sufficiently enough because- How's stew! How's stew! How's stew! Oh, okay, so we got our bird season trust. We got our little turkey stand right here. What we're gonna do is you this have a dashery, <laughs> have a dashery, <laughs> have a dashery. <laughs> you, my child. We want to put this on. We want to, you know, you gonna get that finger way up in there. Oh, see that? You just get, well, get that up in there like that. And just oh, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> so is there a reason that you're going breast down first? Yes, because we want that breast to be fully submerged. We're only gonna do about three minutes per pound. Okay, so if we have a 13 pound turkey and we're doing three minutes per pound, Alexa, 13 times three. The answer is 30 times eight. So this is gonna take only about 40 minutes to fry, y'all. Let's go ahead and uh, take the bird on outside and get ready, okay? We'll see you in just a minute, outside. All right, guys, so there's going to be a few things that you need to get this process going. Number one, you don't want to burn your hands, you need these oven mitts. Number two, you don't want to burn your hands, you need this little hanger looking thingy. You're going to need a turkey, all right? We can't even get this process going if we don't have this bad boy right here, all right? And last but most certainly not least, you need your margarita. Okay, guys, it is the moment of truth. Take the turkey. <laughs> Now, when you're putting the turkey in, you don't just drop the turkey in, mm, blaze it hot. Why not? Steam. Because that's when you blow up your house. So oh, guys, too much cold, too fast is going to cause the oil to erupt like a volcano. Right? Whoa, boy! We're just going in slow with it. Just slow with it. Don't get too scared. <laughs> Stand back a little more. So, as we stated, we had a 13 pound turkey, so we're gonna let this sit in the jacuzzi for about 40 minutes. And then once it's done, we'll be back with the finished product and ready for carving. Oh yeah. Many, many minutes later. Okay, so through the magic of television, it has been about 40 minutes, and we're gonna go ahead and take the bird out of the oil. Let's See what we got here. Go ahead and kill the flame so we don't have to worry about any splash up. Pull it out slow, make sure all the oil drains right here. Go ahead and take a look at that. Now all we need to do now is let this thing rest for about 10 minutes and then we're gonna take it in and uh, carve it up. Be right back. So the turkey tail is one of the most coveted parts. Uh, once you get that turkey done, the tail is crispy it's juicy and oh, so much flavor. Here, I'm gonna show you how to eat the turkey tail. Mm. 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 Mm.